This is going to be a review on the Cube for You 3x3x4. So we have all four layers, some um, fully functional, and with these our layers, um, they, they um, can, hold on, alright, that was a little bright there, oh, yeah, and something is wrong with the tension, yeah, the tension is loose, and I'm going to need to fix that later on, but it does make it easier to get these pieces in. Yeah, I figured out if you turn the longer side halfway, it goes in a little bit better. So, these caps do come off. I'm just like this. And you can adjust the tension. I think that worked. And if I put the caps on the wrong way, then it doesn't matter. And for the other screws, they're actually hidden below this, just like that. Now, as for solving, it's not that hard. Um, I figured out, based on my knowledge of this 3x3x2, three by three by and this is the landline version. So, yeah, and I do solve it a little bit differently, but it's pretty much the same. Like, you solve this part here, and then you solve the tops, and then the middle layer. Although there is a parity, and I did figure that out. And sometimes I saw the bottom layer, and then this part of it, and then it, you can just work your way up. So yeah, it's not that hard, actually. So I'll probably be making a tutorial, and this is my method. Not Probably not the best method, but it's, it's a pretty fast method, and very easy method. Because this thing here is actually um, the most important cuboid to learn to solve larger cuboids like the 4x4x5. And really big ones, but they just are used in different ways. Okay, now with an even layer, there is of course some uh, an inner layer that can get out of alignment. If you look here, it's getting connected to that. So if I turn this, it's now banished to this. So underneath this piece is a is a piece that keeps it in alignment. So this and the inner piece um, are always going to be bandaged. So if you take a key for your 3x3x5, three, three by three by which I don't have, you can, um, if you bandage those, the inner layer can knock it out of alignment. And I'll show you why. Look at this piece. It has a little bump on it. So if you take this, you put it into it, and you can't pull it apart when it's assembled. So that's what keeps that inner layer in alignment. It's a very simple technique, so there are um, quite a few things that um, companies can do. Like, um, so there are many ways you could use to keep this inner layer um, in alignment. So, let's put that together real quick. There we go. Alright, so seems to turn pretty well. So, yeah, and everything else is put together like that. So, I do recommend this cube. It's about, I'd say it's worth maybe, I don't know, $15. I bought this through Amazon, and, um, I know, so I didn't want to use, um, play, um, PayPal for cube4u.com. But I've actually heard it's it's more cheaper at places like Popvine.com. But I just found it through Amazon. And it got here pretty quick, actually. I didn't make an unboxing video of that part. So, it, so it's a, I do recommend this cube. So since this is a cheap cube, and if you are at a tight budget, and you need a cheap, and you want to get um, a cheap cube, this is definitely a cube to um, consider. So... I definitely recommend getting it. That is if you ha do have enough just to buy this cube. So, that's about everything I'm going to say. I will be uploading a tutorial about how to solve it. Um, I think I'll make um, a solve video and a disassemble video. Those are the ones I think I'm going to be making. Bye.